right, here we are with the new your video again. Oh, really? Another video, you say? Yeah, another video here. I know, miss your car, I know. So, I want to ask that guy about that Ford Focus RS. You know, this guy across, not far down from my house, you know, drives a Ford Focus RS. <laughs> I really want to ask him about it. You know, I'm just, I'm just real curious about it. You know, only because you know those those Ford Focus RSs are the only somewhat type of car that I feel like I would. If I, like, had no other car on the planet, you know, that was hatchback, if I could get any hatchback car, like, of any type that looks like a, um, like a potato, I'd probably rock with the Ford Focus RS. Yeah. I'm late again. I'm, it's 8.57 and I'm barely leaving. I got up really late by mistake, so I'm trying to get there as quick as I can, you know. I'm not really too happy with myself that I did this again. Uh, I was doing really good. It was showing up by 9 o'clock, and now I'm, I'm just fucking up, so. So, um, yesterday, yesterday was an interesting day. It was a Pagoda, also Pagoda, Tony's, Red Baron, Mrs. Smith, all those food companies come from the same place, or the same delivery driver. Red Baron and Tony's are very similar anyway, and then Pagoda, man, that actually surprises me. But it's all frozen foods from the store. So, anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yesterday was pretty interesting. Not in a, really in a bad way, but in a not really good way at work. But work was all right, on the other hand. So, yesterday, to start off, I went into work like normal. And it's kind of another Michael story. It's, it's just really sad at this point. It's not even... You know, when I talk about it, honestly, it's it's not even like an angry thing, honestly. I'm just fucking, I feel bad, I feel bad for the guy, but at the same time, the guy does it to himself, you know? So, well, what happened? So, yesterday, when I come in, I get ready to go do my normal thing. I didn't say hi to Michael or anything. He was just cleaning the men's bathroom. Stacia pretty much takes care of the women's at this point. So, pretty much, you know, Tuesday mornings, or, or no, Michael, no, Michael can't do the women's bathroom. That's the problem. So, that leaves me to have to do the women's bathroom on Tuesdays, which I guess one day of the week I don't really have need to. Because usually it gets taken care of throughout the week. But now Stacia, I guess, is changing her days. So, she's off different days now well one different day which means you know Monday night nobody's here so that means the bathrooms are gonna not really look that great on Tuesday morning which means I gotta take care of that so yeah I guess she got her schedule changed um which she really did not want that but they, they kind of asked her and changed it up on her um Basic. Oh man, it's barely nine o'clock, bro. Fuck. This is why I don't do nine o'clock shifts anymore. Cause I I can't even get out the door by nine anymore. It's not even that I don't even want to, or it, it's literally I try to, and you know, either that some some shit just comes up, you know, you know, so. But anyway, so 
yeah, yesterday. You fucking bitch. This fucking light, dude. What the hell was that? The truck honked at somebody. Man, this fucking light. Anyway, um, like I was saying, yeah, yesterday I go in. I didn't say anything to Michael. You know. oh, what? It's the Tesla truck. That's the first time I've seen one of those. It looks ugly as fucking person. Like, like, I'm astonished that somebody actually bought that thing. Jeez. That thing is ugly. It looks like the most vulnerable car out of everybody's car here. That guy must have a lot of money in his pocket. But here I am with a brand new car, too. So, I don't know. You might be financing, but... Because I think the cheapest you can get is, like, 60000 They left their Mentos in here, bro. Well, better that than garbage in general. I, I told them to take everything out. I'm keeping those motherfucking Mentos now. Or I'll leave them there. But I'll, I'll give them back. Yeah. I told them to take their shit out of the car. Don't leave any shit in here. So, um... Yeah, you know, uh... Stace is doing the women's bathroom. Micah, 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 Michael is doing the men's bathroom, and he's starting to mop it. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I ask him, did they say you could do that? But not out of irritation or nothing like that. Which I told him, I was like, I'm just wondering. I'm just curious. I don't really care either way. He was like, yeah. He told me they told me to do it every day that I'm here, and I'm like, oh, okay. You know, that's not bad. Not bad. You know. And then he, he, right after that, he, he just said the wrong fucking thing that, that might really get him in trouble. He said, maybe at some point soon, they'll let me back in the bathroom, the women's bathroom. I'm like, no, dude, you're not ever going back on the women's bathroom. They're, they're never letting you back in there. You know, you, you lost that already. And he, he's really like sad and pissed off and depressed about it. I'm just like, Why? I even asked him, I'm like, why are you upset about that? That's that's a fucking awesome thing, really, when you think about it. I, you know, I everyone was like, if they told us to stay out of the women's bathroom, that's fucking awesome. That'd be great, you know? But Michael is just really down and depressed about it. It's probably not the idea, obviously, that he wants in the women's bathroom. It's just the fact that he got in so much trouble that now he's pretty much banned from cleaning something which makes him feel bad in a sense because he you know like like if you're told to stay away from somewhere because that's how bad you are then that's I wouldn't want I wouldn't really feel good either but over time I you know because it's like for example it's like them telling me I don't eat at 1.30 anymore you know it's just, it's just like that's one of the actually good perks that I had that they actually ripped away from me but of course down the line I got used to it I was just like well I guess I'm eating at one now so but if nobody's there I'm eating at 1.30 you know if it's just me for a day I'm eating at 1.30 so but um but yeah so pretty much yeah you know he he just took it like really hard that I basically told him that he wasn't allowed in the women's bathroom anymore I had to tell him again I'm like you lost that privilege you make people uncomfortable and I I just kind of blew it I just kind of blew it all to him I was like you been you make people uncomfortable when you go in there you know people are uncomfortable with going in there now because of you know you going in there you know so I told him that, and it really shot him down. It really shot him down, you know, because nobody else would fucking, I mean, people, I guess, told him, but nobody else has been telling him, and I didn't want to get in trouble for telling him anything. So I finally kind of just had enough, and I did. You know, it's just like, you make people uncomfortable, dude. 
you know, and it's it's not good. Oh shit! Some kind of traffic. But, um, yeah, you know, and I told him the reasons why I don't really want him talking to me or bothering me, you know, I kind of told him that he annoys the shit out of me a little bit, you know, I told him that, you know, I don't want to be annoyed by you, I don't want to get pissed off with you, you know, I have, I have to take care of this, you know, that I'm in, so, you know, yeah, yesterday, or Monday, he was all pissed off and frustrated and all that. And yesterday, he was just really bummed out and sad about it. Yeah. Or just like, why are you pissed off and sad about it? You know? Would you rather have that or have a lawsuit? That's what I told him. I'm like, do you really want to have a lawsuit? Do you really want to have legal troubles? He's like, no. I'm like, then there you go, dude. You got to understand, man, you know, that you're in like really big trouble if you keep getting caught in there well I can't control when I yell in there and women can't hear me that I can understand I totally get that see see, for me honestly days that Stacia's not here I just deep clean the bathroom or if it looks really good and me and Pops we just sign off on the bathroom I just sign off on it I just take the credit for whatever problems is in there uh, or Pops will take the credit for whatever issues are in there. Pops, on the other hand, he doesn't sign off on the women's bathroom at all. He's so comfortable with going in there in the sense of, you know, like not being nervous and afraid. Because I do not want to go in there when it's busy. But Pops doesn't mind. So it's just like, I don't know why he's putting that on me if he thinks it's so easy to go in there. But... You know, so so I just sign off on it. I just fucking sign off on it, saying that I did check it. You know, only when Stacia's not there. When Stacia is there on days, um, I don't sign off on it at all. You know, I, I leave the bathrooms to Stacia because I'm not I'm not gonna say I check the bathrooms when she'll probably know that I didn't because, you know, they're looking at the signs. They're looking at, you know, putting the sign up. Which again, I know I'm supposed to do that. But, you know, it's just like shit like that. You know, I'm not, I don't really need all that strict shit, you know. You know, I used to put the sign up the first hour before everything opens. But, you know, I was just told, you don't even have to, man. That's what they told me. Well, not the bosses, but pops. I was just like, it's just kind of a precaution thing, but. But oh well. Yeah, so. See, the nice thing about the school jobs is there won't really be anybody around. That'll be the nice thing. There won't really be any kids around, you know. It's an after school job. You know, it's it's they're all three to eleven, you know, type shit. Three thirty to eleven thirty, you know. So and then the bathrooms are just about the same size. It's probably like two or three, four bathrooms, five, six bathrooms in each school, probably. Um, I'm really tired of cleaning, though, but I don't know what else the fuck to move on to right now. I haven't heard anything back about the college stuff. So, uh, I don't even know where the fuck all that is. But, um... Uh... Come on, you stupid fucking lights, bro. It's already 9.10. So, um... Yeah, you know, yesterday... Oh, yeah, and then I I kind of told him, you know, he's, he's one of the bigger reasons why I'm leaving, but mainly it's because of my car again. 
you know, so. Is there a fucking car accident or something? It's really bad in this area, so I'm just gonna try to move around a different area. But uh, yeah, other than that, you know, he pretty much was quiet with me and everybody all day. He doesn't even tell us when he's on break, you know. So I told Michael, you know, when I went in there, he he told Ron that he was going on a break, and I, I was like, "Did you tell Stacia that you were on a break?" He's like, "No, I told Ron." I'm like, "Well, you need to tell Stacia that you're on a break." You know. So he kind of threw a fit, and then he went out, you know, so I was just like, you know, what a big fucking baby, dude, like, seriously. Yeah, I'm like, you need to tell Stacia you're on a break, or Destiny you're on a break. Regardless that they know what time that we're going, I, I just do it just as the... Respecting, if I can't find them at all, I'm just going on a fucking break. You know, I just go on a break anyway. I'm just like, well, anyway, um, yeah, that was pretty much the last interaction I had with him, you know, I didn't, I didn't really talk to him much after that, which, again, I'm contempt with that, but, yeah, you know, uh, like I said, by July, so I have, like, one more month left, because today's the 29th now, we got, like, two more days, and then May's over, you know, that's fucking crazy, dude, you know, how fast this, this year has been going, we're already on, we're already fucking halfway down, come on, light, come on, light. I love that. I love that. I love this engine, man. I love this exhaust. This car, I do not regret it at all. You know, I don't regret it. That's how you know it was meant for me. If you buy something and you kind of regret buying it after, you got to wonder if it's really for you or not. You know? I have not really bought anything to where I've really had to think back on it. You know? Everything I have, you know, I, I've always been like, well, okay. Yeah, like, like pretty contempt with it. Oh, come on. It's 9 fucking 14, bro. I wonder what my blinkers look like. I wonder if it, like, like, you know, there's the three lights, like, it blinks like that. Or something like that, you know. If you ever seen Mustang blinkers in the back, I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah. I could see the reflection of the car that the, the front lights, it, they'll turn yellow and then they'll blink. Yeah, so that's probably what's going on behind me. Fucking traffic. I blame traffic this morning.
five minutes away, but what's stopping me is these lights and traffic. Traffic really fucked it and fucking screwed me today. Come on. So, yeah, yesterday was cool, you know. Uh, you know, work was all right, you know. It, it goes by pretty fast, 9 to 5, 9.30 to 5, but I try to come in at 9. I came in at, like, 9.17, which I wasn't very happy with. It's 9.16 right now, so, of course, I'm later than yesterday. I'm not... This... Today was literally, like, traffic. It was literally traffic, and it was literally fucking the lights, like... These kids are still walking to school. Like, you figure these kids are already in school already. Like, it's not a speed zone. It's not a speed zone. It's not a school speed zone. So I, I'm chill. But yeah, so that's that's it, really. I think I'm gonna end it here now. I don't. This video is already going to 22 minutes. I don't want it to take all of my data. So, um, yeah, <laughs> traffic, lights, and yeah, I wasn't I wasn't very good with the story time today, but that's that's all right. So it's starting to rain. So thank you for watching, and bye for now.